In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the rear spring and shock assembly on this Toyota Prius. Let's get into it. In the trunk, we're going to remove this panel, loosen up the locks, slide this out, pull this box out of the way, just pulls right up. I'm going to remove these bolts on both sides for this panel, use a 10 millimeter socket. Pull that out. Now just grab this panel, pull it straight up. It is Velcroed to the back of the seat. Using a trim tool, I'll just pop this button off. Just get underneath it. like that. You can move it out of the way completely. Grab this panel, slide that out of the way. Down here there's a plastic nut. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Take that off. Grab that panel, slide it aside. This piece right here, just grab this, push it in a little bit, and then it slides outwards. There's just a couple clips and it slides in. Using a trim tool, just get underneath here and just pop this up. It's just clipped in. Remove this hook right here. I'm just gonna use a trim tool. There's a little slot in the tab. Just slide that in, pop the center out, then the rest of it pops out. Using a 10 millimeter socket, take this bolt out. Take this bolt out down here. You have this little retainer. Down here there's a bolt, same 10 millimeter socket. Slide that out. Grab the panel, just pull it out. If you need a trim tool, you can use a trim tool. There is a wire connected on this one with the light. You can pop the light out, just push it forward and disconnect the connector and just push down. Slide it out. Grab this panel. There is a retainer right there. Using a trim tool, just pop this push pin out. And that slides right off. Nut right here. Use a 14 millimeter socket. Take this one off. Using the same 14 millimeter socket down here, there's a nut. Take that off. Might need a magnet to access it. Underneath the vehicle, you want the tire hanging because we are gonna pull the spring and shock out um, and you don't want the vehicle to collapse on itself. So with the vehicle, the rear wheels hanging, I'm gonna put a pull jack underneath here just to support it, because when I pull this out, this could fall a little bit. It's not gonna fall much, but at least have it supported. But don't have the weight of the vehicle on the wheels. Using a 19 millimeter socket, take this nut off. Take that washer off. Just using a pry bar. Pry this off, just at least so that it's loose. That's good. Now we get another bolt up here. Using a 14 millimeter socket, take this bolt out. Slide that out. 
just lower the pull jack a little bit. Slide that off. And it comes right out. You want to take these nuts off. We're going to use those up top. Just the two on the side of the mount. Take the spring and shock assembly and put it in a spring compressor and compress the spring. We're going to take the nut off, use a 17 millimeter wrench and a 6 millimeter hex socket just to hold the, the stud from spinning or the shaft. Loosen that nut up. Once you get it loose, you might be able to use a gun. 17 millimeter socket. Slide that off. Take the nut off. Grab the shock and slide it all the way down. Take the new shock and we're just going to compress it, exercise it, and we're going to do this three times. Take this nut off and then leave this spacer on. Slide it through the spring. Make sure the dust boot goes over. Go through the center of that. There you, go. you might have to lift the upper mount off. Now using an 18 millimeter ratchet wrench and the same six millimeter hex socket, snug this down. And I'm going to torque this nut to 41 foot pounds, just using an 18 millimeter crow's foot. If you don't have one, do the best you can. Make sure everything's lined up with the spring and the shock down below, and then you can remove it from the compressor and install it in the vehicle. Slide the spring assembly in place. Try to get the studs lined up. And go over the stud on the bottom. And just take a dead blow hammer Give it a couple taps, get it lined up. A rubber mallet. That's good. Take the bolt, get that started. Tighten that down. And torque that bolt to 59 foot pounds. washer on and the nut. Tighten this down. Torque this to 59 foot pounds. I can lower the pole jack. Put the nuts on. Get this one started. Tighten it down. Put the other nut on. Torque that to 59 foot pounds. And same with the other one. Now I take the panel. Slide the front part in. Make sure you slide the seat pelt into the slot. You just kind of angle the front of it. And take the 
Let the wiring harness go through there. Take the light. Put the light in. Lock that down. And push the rest of the panel in. Put the push pin in right here. Push this clip in here. Get that lined up. And push down the center. All the way. Put the bolt in here. Snug that down. Put this bracket on in the bolt. Snug that down. Take this longer bolt, get that started. Tighten it down. Take this bucket, line that up. Go over the stud and then take this plastic nut, just push it all the way down. Take the cover, put that in place. Take this cover, line it up. Push it down, get the Velcro lined up, and then if you had push pins on the side, you want to push those in. Put these clips in. Snug those down. Do the same on the other side. Take this panel, line this up, lock it down. This little cover, there's a couple clips in the front that have to be slid in first and then push down. Put this bucket in place, line the cover up, it slides in the front first, then push it down. and lock it in place. After finishing this installation, it's important to have an alignment done on your vehicle. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.